happening very fluid right now. What can you tell us? Yeah, well, the first shipments arrived in Minnesota here within the last 15 minutes or so. Uh, federal government ships um, to their, the, the VA, the Indian Health Care Services, Bureau of Prisons, and then Department of Defense and State Department all have entities in Minnesota. They ship to them. We're tracking as the state of Minnesota where those are going. The first box, rightfully so, arrived at the Minneapolis VA to, uh, to give vaccines to frontline health care personnel and our most vulnerable veterans. And when do you expect these to be in the arms of Minnesotans? How quickly? Well, the VA is ready. They'll go through their protocols. Minnesota Department of Health is putting out our guidance. We hope, as I say, I think probably within the next 24 to 48 hours, they'll be ready. They'll get the protocols, all things necessary. There's a real tracking of when you get it, how you get it. You can't do everybody on the same day in case there's a few side effects, people feel a little tired, whatever it might be. All of that has been thought out of, all of it's put into a spreadsheet, and they're ready to execute. And you talk about cold storage, just kind of the perfect day to, to, to transport perfect this day. stuff. Yeah, it, it's hard to believe it. It actually needs to be stored about 100 degrees colder than we are right now. Yeah. Um, but they have the facilities in there. I wanted to look at them. And I think the thing that Minnesotans need to think about is all of the thought that went into this, there's backup generators to backup generators to make sure that if we lost power for whatever reason, those vaccines are safe. They're going to be there. Those are the things that are being thought out. This is happening simultaneously across the country. Um, this is a pretty amazing endeavor. I just want to continue to assure Minnesotans the vaccine is safe. We're getting out the information where you can get it. Um, we're following the national protocols of making sure health care providers and long-term care residents. Um, but that is beginning as we speak. Are there other locations like this around the state that this is happening at? Or is this the very first one? This is the very first one as far as we know, but it will be happening now. This is the one that they landed from FedEx. FedEx picked it up from their facility. They moved it out. I wanted to watch with the driver, the tracking of it. They checked to make sure that it translated the whole way under temperature, which it did. It met those protocols. We had run practice runs on this a few weeks ago, but yeah. this one actually has the vaccine in it, and it's here, it's safe, and it's ready to go. How many do we have? Just a short of 3,000 doses. Okay. And this is a big facility. This is one of the largest medical facilities in the VA system. Just the beginning? Just the beginning. Okay. Governor, thank you. Yep.